Bay leader that was go, assassinated on the streets of the capital. That's not propaganda. No, read the, read the papers. Read the daily papers. Read the, uh, the weekend papers. Well, I've read all How of the papers. How many tabloids criticizing the government, criticizing the... Uh, not criticizing is fine, but how many bogus reports? How many mudki? You know, but, but all hang on these a minute. things. When, when, so when Mr. Many... Wickramatunga wrote his valedictory piece, he foretold his own death. He wrote this. He said, and this is just days before he was shot dead on the streets of Colombo. Murder, he said, has become the primary tool whereby the state seeks yeah, to control the organs of by, liberty. Don't go by these people who are writing against. You know, there are well, enough he's not, people. He's not writing Today, anymore. He's I, I, I can quote enough. Uh, I can show you enough papers written against President uh, of America or the uh, Prime Minister of the UK. Well, of course you so, can. And, and so when, you, I criticize, when I criticize the government of Britain, so do I, do you not, I do not no, end up with a bullet in the head. Criticizing is different. The, I can show you enough tabloids, you know, quoting a lot of parliamentarians, ministers in the UK, you know, but are you going to believe but, but, all these things? And are you going to question on... Uh, on people on those lines. But Mr. Secretary, uh, Yara, let, let, let me ask you this question. and It's directed at you both as a, a very important member of the government, but also as a member of the Rajapaksa family. Does it seem to you healthy in, in a vibrant democracy that so much power should be held in one family? Your brother... If the, well, people, let, 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 if the people gives that, if the people gives that, President was elected by the people. Basil Rajapaksa was elected by the people with the highest majority in this country, with the highest preferential votes. Namal Rajapaksa was elected by the people with the highest percentage of preferential votes. Chamal Rajapaksa was elected by the people. So what? If the people want, so it be. The Rajapaksa family is now responsible for 75% of the entire government budget. Is that healthy? I don't think. You know, those are figures that, you know, you can calculate the various ways. It's, it's, it's not so. Uh, but... Um, well, it is so, we to be honest. If you, think, if you think about it, no, the president himself have, is responsible we, for uh, have, transportation, you know, I, I, highways, me, ports. You we, know that one of your own I, brothers is known I, in this I, country as Mr. No, 10%. I, you I you know I, that. No. I, that, those are... Those are uh, you know, uh, that rhetoric by the opposition, that, uh, that is a very common thing in, in this world, not only in Sri Lanka, all over. People uh, blame various politicians and without any uh, base. You know, there have been a lot of allegations against me, people, because just for purely for their personal gains. I went to court. No, but, you know, when, when, the, the, uh, when a, a particular paper published a wrong... The Sunday leader, uh, the, yes. the editor of which yeah. was uh, assassinated. I, I went to court, but that's the correct thing to do. Is it, does it make sense for a senior official like yourself to sue an independent, one of the very few what independent newspapers, so, uh, for, hang on, for one me. billion okay, I rupees? Know. I know this. Uh, this one this billion picture. rupees. You uh, want to, you you want to destroy that newspaper. What else I should do? You're seeking one billion rupees. You want to destroy the independent newspaper. No. Well, why, are you seeking, to, why are you seeking just, one, why just, are you seeking I, one I billion just, rupees? I want to put on record that this was a wrong allegation. And why are you seeking I, one I, billion rupees, which you know they can't afford? Why are you doing that? Well, if they can't afford, they have to close down the Exactly. Papers. Yeah. So let it be. That's what you want. Yeah. It, that's my right. That's my right to defend myself. Mr. Secretary. And tell the, tell the people, look. All these are bogus allegations. If I may, Mr. Secretary, I need to ask you a personal question. Are, are you worried that you personally may be accused of war no, crimes? No, I'm not worried because I have not done any crime. You see, fighting, that, 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 fi fighting, as you know, that is, is not... Is fighting terrorism a crime? Is fighting terrorism is a crime? Depen depends how you fight it. Yeah. Depends uh, what you do. There is only way to fight terrorism. Fight. <laughs>
<laughs> no, but that it wouldn't. Not, I don't see it. It wouldn't. That, it wouldn't that, that, if, if you believe you're involved in a war on terror, it would not allow you, for example, to give an order to yeah. one of your senior officers telling him to shoot people who are trying to surrender, waving a white flag. No. I have never. That given would still be a war crime. Nobody had done that. Nobody had. Well, done you know that. that the army commander at the end of the war has since given interviews in which he says he has information that you gave an army commander the instruction no, don't, to don't shoot. Don't grab these to political issues. You know what? Who, who he is? He contested for his, you know, personal uh, gains. So don't drag him into this. But this is General this is, Fonseca not, who says he has information no, that, that you that gave to, the order. That is a to political. The, to that, that's a political game. Well, that's you know, what I want to pursue now. I want to talk uttered. about that. I want to talk about that. You keep saying it's a political game. What? Is the fact that General Fonseca is now in detention? He's, He's lying. Is in detention. He faces court martial. Is that because he, in essence, accused you of? A war crime, and he also said he would be prepared. That is to, one point. And he that also is said, "Hang on." He also, that is one point. He yes. also said he would testify before an independent war crimes investigation. Is that, yes. what, is that what you are frightened yes, of? Yes, it is that one point. He can't do that. He was the commander. He's responsible. He's a. That's a treason. We will hang him if we do that. I'm telling you, that's a treason. You would not. How can you tell that? How, how can he lie that? How can he betray the country? How can he buy such lies? That's he, if he says that, he's a liar. You would have he's him, a liar. You would have him executed for testifying before an independent no. tribunal investigating war crimes? What I'm saying is crimes? for betraying a country. Lying. Betraying soldiers. Isn't that a crime? Is that a treason? What is going to happen to General Fonseca? I don't know. He has to face the court martial. So the court martial court will give the decision. It is extraordinary, is it not, that this man who was close to you, close to your brother, the president, who was the head of the army. Don't talk is... about him. It's a it's his own wish, his ambition. He he wanted to uh, you know contest elections, so he did it. Yeah, Mr. Secretary, it, it just strikes me that we're at a very important moment in your country. The war has been over yes. for one year, and you and the people in the government, and indeed the wider population, have to decide what sort of a country in this post-war period you want to live in. Yes. Do you want to live in a country that is truly democratic, where yes. the rule of law is respected and is paramount, or do you want to live in a country where there is a strong man leader, where in the end security and the interests of power are put before individual rights. No, you, which you country, put it in a which very, Sri Lanka very, do you want to live You in? put it in a very, very wrong way. You know, we, the president was very recently was elected by majority of this country, people, as the head of state. We just finished the parliamentary election. You know, this is democracy. This is democracy. But, you know, w w the security in this country is not for, the pol uh, for one person. It's not for one family. It's not for some people. It is for the country. It is for the people of this country. And, and bottom line, this government and you are not changing course. You know, the, the people of this country over and over again they are electing the president, they are electing this government. Why? Because they think that they are doing the right thing. And there we must leave it. But <laughs> Tabia Rajapaksa, thank you very thank much you. indeed for being on Hard Talk. Thank you very much.